All right, guys, it's Codeboy32, and this is a review of the Maytech Backup Iron Sight. Excellent product. Stand by. All right, this here's Codeboy32. I'm just going to not say anything. Hey guys, go to boy 32 here, and this is the Matech Backup Iron Sight. It's either pronounced Matech or Matech, you guys tell me. Alright, one of the reasons why I wanted to do this video is at the time when I did all my research, the finest thing, there really weren't a lot of good videos out there doing reviews on it, and it, that's at the time. So, now one of the things that drew me to the site is I was working for a couple people in the, in the builds, and people wanted a good mil spec iron sight for their AR or the M4. Of course, this was a pretty good viable option along with the nice armament, which at the time was actually scarce and beyond the budget. Um, as I understand it, this site is widely used by the military with both the Army and the Marine Corps. And uh, this was a go decision for me, and not a bad deal considering the cost, which at the time retailed for around $80. All right, so let's talk about this thing. At first glance, you can see the windage knob, the elevation knob. You see this thing turning, click it. It's got some pretty pronounced uh, defined clicks. And uh, over here, you got the elevation lever that uh, rotates along the meter's guide and elevating the sight peep lever up and down. And the numbers on the side help in uh, gauging that bullet drop compensation by uh, super elevating the muzzle. So when it goes up, it goes down. When it goes down, it goes up. All right, a number of people complained about that small peephole. And uh, really and truly, um, for the most time, this is a backup iron sight. You're going to be either using an aim, aim point, ACOG, or a uh, EOTech with this thing. So, uh, not a big issue in my book. Alright, the build quality is pretty much second to none. Very solid, very heavy for a backup site, and, but the design is functional and, you know, built to last. Alright, when, uh, let's see here. Let's compare it to, say, I don't know, Maytech. Alright, this is the <laughs> Magpul M Bus. And uh, for shits and giggles, let's break out the uh, Yankee Hill flip up iron sight. Now, this guy right here, uh, I run a couple of these on the multiple rifles. I like it. It's a good, solid uh, backup iron sight. It does have the mobile peep holes. Now, this one right here, very solid. These two are similar. Just the steel, the gauge of steel is very similar, okay? Um, let's see here. Look, this guy right here, uh, I've never mounted it on a rifle, so <laughs> throw it over there. All right. Um, I've used this sight multiple times on range, and, and I really do like it. Now, I'm half blind, so... It's hard for me to uh, reach out to 100 meters accurately and put, you know, MOA size, uh, what do you call them, uh, MOA groupings together with this thing. However, um, this thing's really cool. Now, you got the flip up portion, it's held in place by the little ball gauge here, uh, the ball thingy, I guess what you call it. All right. Um, it, it'll, it'll work, I guess, if you uh, had it deployed and you dropped it, then uh, it may stay down. But uh, anyway, hefty. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, break out the scales here. We're going to uh, start off. Let's take uh, let's take that Magpul. All right, see how much she comes in. We're going to weigh it up. Uh, she looks about 1.3 ounces. All right, now next comparison is this Yankee Heel. Pretty good sight, hefty. Um, let's see how she goes. Uh, it's a good quality, rugged sight. It's the reason why I get on it on a couple of rifles. And uh, man, always will be one of my favorites. All right, so she's going to come in at 2.3. Five ounces. Now, the Mayatech, she's a chunk of steel in comparison to the others and uh, noticeably heavier. Let's see, she comes in at two, 3.4 ounces. So, if you're in it to win it with something light, this is not going to be your sight. However, if you need to throw it at somebody and knock somebody out, you can probably pull this off the rifle and kill them with it. <laughs> I got another sight that I use uh, that's actually on a rifle right now, and that's the arms mount number 40 backup sight, which is on my uh, Mark 12. Love that thing. So these two are very comparable in quality build. Uh, yeah, I don't think in uh, any way you can go wrong with the purchase of this thing. All right, so let's talk about this. The Maytech is manufactured for a company located in Salisbury, Maryland, Machining Technologies, Inc. Started out with four guys and a CNC machine and pretty much grew into what they are today. Uh, they got quite a few uh, defense contracts. Uh, they're working with a bunch of telco companies, a bunch of different manufacturers. Uh, went ahead and put their uh, website down below. Uh, they are ISO 901 2008 certified, which pretty much means they have to go through uh, checks and balances to uh, provide our end client with a bunch of good quality stuff. All right, so this is Coda Boy 32.
God bless America. God bless those men and women in uniform working 24-7 for our freedom because freedom is not free. Code of Boy 32, out.